Oh yes, close. Oh, today we're going to talk about the best quicks that I've seen in international cricket. So let's find out who they are on Hogs Vlog. Well, 12 names for you. Four from today, four from my time as an international cricketer, and four before I started playing international cricket. So, first up, from today, Kagizo Rabada comes in at number one. Swings the ball both ways. He's got sheer pace and good stamina, a valuable asset for South Africa. Number two, Pat Cummins, Mr. Reliable. When you need an energy boost, you need a breakthrough, you throw the ball to him. Coming in at number three is Jasper Boomer. Best Yorker in the business, but he's also got a searing bouncer. Number four is Jofra Archer. Only just come on the scene of international cricket, but he's got a very economical uh, run-up, and I don't know where he generates that pace from, but he's gonna be an entertainer, and I'm looking forward to seeing how his career progresses. Now, during my time as an international cricketer, number one, Dale Stane. Yes, he could swing the ball both ways, but he had sheer pace as well, and he had the best strike rate in test cricket. So he's my number one. Number two, Alan Donald. He didn't get the name White Knight Lightning for nothing. I only faced one ball from him. Got me out for a golden duck. Best wicket Alan Donald's ever got. Well done, mate. You come in at number two through my period. Number three, great exponent of reverse swing and also had a potent Yorker, Wakar Yunus. Coming in at number four, is reliable Glenn McGrath. Very economical bowler, picked up his wickets, but created pressure and uh, helped his teammates at the other end get their wickets. So Glenn McGrath, a very valuable asset in any team. Now, before I started playing, these guys were sensational. First up, Malcolm Marshall, sprinter to the crease, whippy action, only small, very skiddy bowler, swung the ball both ways, but that extra pace and that skid, uh, skid really troubled the opposition batsman. Number two, his counterpart, Joel Garner bowling from the other end. He had that extra height. He had steep bounce, but he also angled the ball into the right-hand batsman, and he was a handful. Number three, the deadliest fast bowler in the business, Colin Croft. He'd bowl you a couple of slower bounces, set you up, set you up. You think you've got his measure, then he'd slip in that quicker bouncer, it would hurry you up, and if you didn't watch it carefully, you are going to get sconed. So Colin Croft comes in at number three, but he also had a very, very quick Yorker as well. Now, number four, there's two players here. They are an opening, combina uh, opening combination for Australia, Lily and Thompson. You had one with sheer dial out there at one end who could swing the ball, and the other at the other end with sheer pace. A great combination. But they're my list of fast bowlers. You might find someone a little different that I haven't put in this list. Well, put their name down here in your comments below. But if you like what I'm doing, subscribe here on the right, this little button, throw the ball at it, and that will give you a notification of when the next video is coming out. And if you like what I'm doing, there's some more videos over here in this screen. Tap in there and uh, see the work that I've done. And you guys, have a great day. Thanks for joining me.